The only two things that keep me up at night, the age at which it suddenly becomes unacceptable to have a giant Millennium Falcon poster in your room, and how much charge left I have on my AA or 9-volt batteries for my music gear. So Bose was nice enough to try and solve this problem. This is a battery-powered speaker, and as you may tell, I just got badly sunburned at a gig that I had used this for. Actually, it was a wedding, and it was on the beach, so I needed something because there was no power out there, and they didn't have that. They had no power at all, no extension cords or anything. So I needed something with a battery. This isn't mine. This is my buddy Andreas's. He bought it. Uh, $600 seems kind of pricey for something this small. I remember hearing about this when it came out. I got my hands on it, and I was like, well, this is a little smaller than I expected. Is it going to be a good deal? So I kind of wanted to go through a couple of his features and then just talk about my experience using it uh, live earlier today while I was being baked under the hot Florida sun, okay? So first of all, if you just want to hear it... Really good, a lot of reverb on this right now. I might kind of change that in a second. But it's kind of hard to demo live sounding stuff because it's like, okay, there is a line out on this, which I'll show you in a second. But it's really just more about how you can hear it right now and then kind of just trusting what I have to say. Because again, Bose doesn't give stuff away to like demo people or, or reviewers or anything. So this is just purely my thoughts on if you need to spend $600 for a wireless speaker? And the answer is probably yes, right? So real quick, if we turn this around, we'll show you what we got here, all right? Now I've got uh, my D'Angelico plugged in here to the instrument side, uh, and I have an Audix i5, no, Audix uh, OM5 that we're gonna hear in a second for the vocals. And then it's really just kind of like a two thing mixer. You can plug uh, an auxiliary cable in, you can Bluetooth it, and notice there is no power cable, but this is a standard power cable to charge it, which is actually my favorite feature of this. Really when it comes to things that have like external power supplies, I generally misplace them, and I'm the worst at keeping a proprietary power supply with the unit that it is proprietary for. That's just a personal thing. So the fact that it uses a standard power cable for this is great. Now, what you can do, how this works is right now it's just turned on. You can turn it off just like that, right? So now it's off. If you were to charge it and the battery supposedly lasts like 11 hours, I only needed it for like two hours today, so it was fine. So I can't really speak to 11 hours, but it, it seemed to be fine right now. If you put it on, if you, if you plug it in and then turn it into the battery mode, you'll see that this is like blinking blue. That means it's kind of charging up. So then if you just want to play it while it's plugged in, you just turn it on regularly or when it is unplugged and it's in the on position, that means you're going off of the battery, okay? So now again, each of these has uh, uh, its own volume control right here on the side. And uh, the thing that I really like the best about this, you can see as usual, my guitar tone is turned all the, all the way, the trebles all the way down uh, and kind of messed around from there. But they each have their individual reverb settings, which I think is really smart because a lot of times I might want more reverb on the guitar, less reverb on the vocals, uh, stuff like that. Another thing is the switch here that has uh, the great Bose tone match kind of presets that it goes through and you can adjust if it's just like a microphone, um, a guitar, or just like the regular line in. Also has Bluetooth, which is really fantastic, and it's a feature that I wish the L1 stuff had because you could just stream something to it. So, at the very least, it's like a great sounding powered Bluetooth speaker, but it has a lot more capabilities to that. And again, I was wondering if this was gonna be enough power for the gig that I was at. So this is something where it was an outdoor venue, again, at the beach. It was a pretty calm day. I would say there was probably 50 to 60 people, and I was maybe, 30 yards away from, uh, you know, the place where they were actually getting married. And it was absolutely more than I needed. I didn't have anything on max volume. I was close to maxing out the guitar sound. Because again, you know, the beach is kind of like, it's especially in like the Gulf of Mexico, it's pretty loud. But... It was great, great sounding. I had it near the ground. I didn't put it on a tripod or anything uh, like that to raise it. You might want to kind of like experiment with that. But this is definitely built to have different kind of like angles of how you want to disperse the sound. In fact, uh, just for example, you can have it like on its side like this. 
And they thought of everything. And because if you're like, oh, I don't want to put it on its side like that because then the bow thing isn't in place. Oh, well, look at this. You can actually switch this around. Oh, the, so the badge is always exactly where you need it, okay? So that's kind of like a cool feature, uh, you know, novelty feature, I suppose. But uh, anyways, as you can hear, I, it sounds really good. And I would actually say from a clarity standpoint, it sounds better than my L1 Compact, which I thought was, I was very surprised by. Uh, and again, you know, this is something, it's not a super bass heavy rig we're dealing with here, just an acoustic guitar and like vocals. If it was a keyboard, maybe it'd be a different story. But uh, I think it sounds, sounds really good. So uh, we're gonna actually just do a quick snippet of the vocals and the guitar, just so you can kind of get a, a feel for what that sounds like. With the reverb on a little more than usual, just so you can kind of get a better idea for the character of the reverb too, which I thought was really well chosen. thing that I've seen people do is take like a wireless guitar uh, receiver transmitter combination like this X5 one that I use and actually what you can do is you can maybe take like an extra output on a mixer and plug uh, the transmitter into that uh, and then receive it to the Bose thing and then it kind of works as almost like a satellite extra speaker or a speaker extension to kind of get music in like a different place uh, than you might have with your normal kind of like speaker array setup. Just one thing that I've seen people use for it uh, that's actually pretty cool. And uh, man, honestly, like it, it sounds really good. So if it's suitable for your needs, I mean, that's kind of up to you, but I would definitely recommend trying this out if you're in the market for something like that. And again, I'm a big Bose fan. I have uh, the noise canceling headphones, which are just like the best they're expensive. I have an L1 system, which I think is like the best in that thing, even though it's still kind of expensive. So with both stuff, you do pay a little bit of a premium, but it's not really an overpay to me because they usually are kind of like the best in class when it comes to this kind of stuff for like a gigging working musician. So if you guys have any comments or experiences uh, with this that you want to share, leave them in the comments because again, I've, I've had limited time with this, but it was really a lifesaver at the gig I was at today. Uh, I know like the, the Roland makes that like street cube thing, which is, which is really cool for what it is, but this is definitely an increase in sound quality from, from that. And I really haven't seen any other really convenient battery powered speakers that do what this does. So again, I just used it today. Uh, I was impressed by it. So I thought I'd do a quick demo on it. And if you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section on Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks a lot.